Hello again, Denison community. It's Kelly Van Washenova bringing you ETS's Word of the Week. Last week, I showed you video clips of faculty and staff from around campus talking about the word community and what that means to them in this post-pandemic time. This week, we're going to highlight technology. So take a look here at what different people around campus had to say about technology and stick around at the end for more information on the upcoming ETS workshops. Hopefully, I'll see you there. Uh, juggling on roller skates. <laughs> Oof. Um, so the first thing I thought of was creates as many problems as it solves. Uh. <laughs> Technology is wonderful when it works. You don't want to be on the other end of technology when it decides to act up. Technology is something uh, frustrating, absolutely frustrating, constantly frustrating, but ultimately worth it when it works out. I would say a potential source of good if it's harnessed in service of, um, you know, justice, equality. I think of the ability to make connections that were unable to be made before. Because of technology during um, the pandemic times and, and um, all of the commotion and chaos that was going on, we were still able to connect. There were a lot of technological hurdles that we all had to deal with last year. And this year, it'll be interesting to see how we can expand upon that because I think we've learned a lot about access. We've learned a lot about um, different approaches to things that technology can aid. Technology is not a substitute for in-person experiences, but it's a wonderful complement. As a philosopher who works on technology, I think a lot about technology. Uh, I, think, uh, I think I've heard from a lot of students over the years that how great uh, technologically mediated social interactions are. And I think what the, what the last year showed us is how limited they really are. And I'm, I think it's going to be nice to have a lot more in-person uh, contact with people instead of doing it on Zoom or whatever. So, Technology used to feel like my enemy. Now I'm going to consider it a friend, but um, it doesn't have to take over my life. So I think that technology is perhaps a beast that we've tamed a little bit over this past year. And now I was very much a technophobe in a lot of ways. And now I can see the beautiful sides of it and how it can be useful. My favorite technology is still a book and a pencil and a pen and a piece of paper. Those are my favorite technologies. But I can see the beauty of other technologies like Zoom, which we're using right now. Um, I've actually been thinking a lot about my teaching and ways in which I can keep some of the really good things going. Um, but there are also some things that I'm perfectly happy to let go. So um, I think technology has its positives and its negatives, for sure. In technology, when you do something with technology, so often the results you get aren't, I mean, maybe you reach your learning goal, but often there are some unexpected residual kinds of things that happen that are... Um, that you, you don't even plan. And they're pretty exciting to see in student work, actually, in the end. Um, I found ways to kind of use the technology in different ways that I want to continue, you know, exploring now that we can get back to some of the things that we've done before that we really miss, um, how to not lose the things that we did over the last year that actually work quite well. Looking back now, having thinking about all the ways that we have had to dive in to technology in the classroom and technology in meetings, I feel like technology is much more my friend than I realized. Um, and we have to be careful still and thoughtful about how we use it to communicate with each other and how we use it in the classroom. But there are definitely ways that I will incorporate technology into my own classroom discussions and interactions with students that I would not have considered before COVID. 
thinking about how we want to use that technology differently in the next year as we'll be in person on campus to really enhance what we're able to do in the classroom in person with our students. So again, just a lot of gratitude for the technology that we have available to us. I'm actually grateful for the ways that I have found some agility with technology and also some perspective with technology. Thank you for watching this week's Word of the Week. Next week, we're going to feature the word equity. But until then, go ahead and click on the description in this YouTube video to take a look at ETS's August workshops. We hope to see you at some of those. Have a great day. I just have to think of Cheryl Johnson when I think of technology.